Hi, I'm Peter Kamlstrom of Kamlstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you several different ways of adding documents to a SharePoint 2013 site. This site here is running on Office 365, but most of the things I show also work very similarly on an in-house deployment. Now, the first, the easiest one is, of course, to create a new document. And there I got the choice of which type of file to create. This file will be created right here in this document library, and it will be created using the Office Word app application. I'm going to call that one test one. Very good name. As you see now, this opens in the Word web app application. And here I can type some stuff. I'm just going to do equals Lorem to get some example text there. Let me try Rand instead. That usually works. Yeah, that does work. Now I'm just going to close that and exit. And I'm going to save that. And of course, that's now saved in this document library, test one. Now, to add uh, files to there, I can also drag document, drag files. I can do that by going into my document library here, my documents, finding some documents. And you can drag one or several. I'm going to drag a bunch of them here. Just going to drag them up here, and as you see, I can drag them within this little blue box there. And those gets uploaded. I can also go in here on files and upload document. And that's for a single document. I'm going to do the same again. There we go. See, there's also a link here, and that's what I'm going to show next. Upload documents. Upload using Windows Explorer. And that opens up a web dev window to this document library. Actually, it takes a few seconds. So you see the, this now opens up in a Windows Explorer window. And this is rather interesting because I have an actual URL to this document library. And that allows me to do several different things. First, of course, I can drag and drop between my regular Windows Explorer window. Let's see, I'm going to put these beside each other now, so makes sense. There we go. Yeah, I can just drag and drop these things, so let's drag this one, for example, up there. You see now that uploads into that document library. This URL here now, I can also add this to my favorites, my Windows Explorer favorites, by right-clicking here, add current location to favorites, share documents. And this favorites tab here is the one used by all Windows applications. So if I simply press the Windows key here and search for paint, you might have heard about the wonderful integration between Microsoft Paint and SharePoint. No, that's a joke. You actually haven't, because there isn't one. But what you can do now is that you can go into File and to Save As, and there you find the same favorites. So that means that I can actually save from Microsoft Paint right into SharePoint. Let's see, I got a dick, an error message there that I'm going to try anyway. Just save that as Arch. Let's see how that works. Save. Did work, even though the web page didn't show up for some reason. There we go. I'm going to go back to my document library here now and refresh, and you'll see that the Arch file got uploaded to it. There we go. So you can actually work from inside Paint or any other an application that uses the standard common dialogues, save as dialog, this one. Now if you're using something, uh, an application that doesn't use the standard Windows save as dialog, such as an Air application or a Java application or a DOS application, something like that, then you need to actually map a drive to your SharePoint document library. That's actually possible too. What you can do here is just simply take this URL, the long one here, I'm just going to copy that URL, right click in copy or control C of course. Now when I have this copy I can go into my computer and click on the computer link here and add map a network drive 
And now I can simply do, let's say I'm going to do the S drive, S for SharePoint. I'm going to map that to this shared documents library. And then finish that. So now I actually have an S drive here, which shows this same document library. That means that I can, of course, um, go ahead and go to my documents again and expand here and just drive, drag things in here. So let's say I want to have the Reuters document, I want to drag that into my S drive. That works beautifully too. Let's copy that over. Another thing that I can do is go really old school here and go into the my command prompt and just change the drive to s colon and now you'll see yeah, sorry just s colon and then do a dir and you see i have the same documents there so that means that i can do all the old school stuff that i would do in a dos window also let's uh, do the final way of getting documents into my SharePoint site and that's actually using SharePoint Designer. SharePoint Designer is rather good at that too. I'm just going to copy the URL to my site here so I can open it in SharePoint Designer and then I'm going to go in and Designer, SharePoint Designer 2013. Open a site and then I'm going to open this site now. An organizational account there we go, now I got that site um, open. That's the first time I'm using SharePoint Designer on this computer. So there we go. Alright. Now I eventually have this site open. And the subsite I was working on was actually the porch site. So I'm going to open that. Here yeah, I have a virtual view of all the files within my SharePoint site. So I can go in here in my shared documents. And there you see all the files again. And there I have a few different ways of importing files here. I can do import files like that. I can add a file or add a folder. I can of course also drag and drop there into this directory that works too. So I'm just going to do this, these two here and drag and drop those. That works too. So those are quite a few different ways to upload documents into your SharePoint 2013 sites. Thank you for watching this demonstration.